Sonny Murray here, berry specialist with uh, Perennia Food and Agriculture. Today we're out here looking at some uh, living mulch in between uh, plastic mulch in uh, strawberry production. Normally what a grower would do is they would uh, uh, try to achieve bare ground in this production system or come through with a uh, straw mulch. Uh, if they try to do bare ground, uh, they'll come in at the time of planting with uh, a residual product like uh, Chateau and Dual mixed together. So you got a broad leaf and a grass herbicide with a very long residual, apply it to the row middles. Um, and then they would uh, touch that up with uh, a contact uh, product like Ignite uh, through the year. Uh, the problem with that system is uh, during heavy rain events, you get a lot of uh, uh, water uh, accumulating on the plastic. It all gets uh, funneled down between the rows and uh, really increases your uh, chance of erosion down that row on slopes. So uh, straw uh, is what some people use uh, between rows. That gets very expensive as well, uh, just by the amount of straw that you're applying. Uh, so this grower has decided to try out uh, some uh, living mulches instead. So when selecting your uh, grass variety that you want to uh, plant between the rows, you want to make sure that you uh, uh, select a variety that's going to stay low so it doesn't uh, grow up and increase humidity in the uh, crop canopy that will lead to disease. You also want to make sure uh, that you uh, don't use something that's going to go to seed on you and uh, aggressively become a weed in the uh, years to come. In this case we have an Italian rye grass. As we know from our other videos, Italian rye grass doesn't go to seed in that year of planting. Uh, so down the road it won't become a, a weed issue. So what this grower uh, did was uh, they laid the plastic mulch, but before they planted they came through and broadcasted uh, 22 pounds of rye grass and just left that on the uh, soil surface. Uh, then they came through and uh, with a backpack blower they blew it off the plastic. And the reason they did this is because they didn't want any of those stray seeds to get into the planting hole, which would cause a weed problem later on. Uh, then they came through and uh, planted uh, the strawberry plants. This was all done as early as they can work the ground in the spring, of course, because you want to get those strawberry plants established as soon as you can so that you can get into uh, strawberry production earlier in the summer. So in this ever-bearing field of strawberries, uh, in this production system, this grower is going to carry those through to next year. So, uh, because these are ever-bearing, they'll uh, overwinter uh, with a row cover on top of them. Um, and they'll start to uh, bloom earlier than the traditional matted row June-bearing strawberries. So I suspect that they will uh, be picking uh, towards the end of May, uh, first week of June. Uh, if the Italian ryegrass overwinters, uh, it'll go to a head fairly early in the spring and could be in head uh, by, the, uh, uh, by the end of May. So that's something this grower is going to have to manage. So uh, if this grower chooses to, in this uh, everbearing strawberry system, to uh, terminate uh, the ryegrass this fall, they can come in uh, mid-October with a grammaticide. Uh, and that uh, grammaticide is going to act very slowly and uh, by uh, springtime the grass should be dead. That gives us a great ground cover uh, and especially with uh, a rye grass you have a lot of root structure to it. Um, that'll protect from uh, erosion through that winter and early spring period. So that residue if we terminate in the fall should be broken down by the time we have to pull that plastic after that uh, crop uh, produces strawberries in the spring. Uh, traditionally, uh, that last week of May is when we start to pick. We'll be through picking that spring crop on an ever-bearing uh, strawberry plant by June 15th. Um, usually we come in with a, a glyphosate application uh, in order to kill the uh, strawberry plant itself. Uh, that killing of the strawberry plants allows us to uh, pull that plastic. So we like to leave that herbicide on there until the uh, strawberry plant itself is totally dead in order to, uh, to uh, pick that plastic up. So that operation usually happens mid-July. So that'll give us uh, plenty of time to get in here with another cover crop before fall and get things set up for the, for the following year.